Hello, everybody. It's meteorologist Hutch Johnson with your Monday evening update. Just like last night's round of severe storms, we'll have some strong and severe storm potential overnight. Another one tomorrow. Details coming up in this version of Hutch's weather. My friends at Robert Gibbons Sons deserve a little bit of congratulations for becoming a three time in a row Circle of Champion Award recipients. Robert Gibbons Sons serving our community for over 110 years. Give them a call today to find out details on how they can assist you with all of your mechanical needs. Now, let's get going with the radar things fairly quiet, although we do have a watch that's been issued in the big sky country of Montana. Now, these showers and thunderstorms developing out there capable of producing some gusts upwards of 70, 70 miles per hour. That watch is in effect until midnight central daylight time, which would put it at about oh, 01 in the morning out there in that uh, uh, time zone out there. So keep in mind, uh, we do have stout thunderstorms that are developing now between Sheridan, Wyoming and Billings, Montana. These will be heading off to the east and northeast as we go through the evening. And overnight, they'll be heading in our way. And to show you the details on that, and their track tonight. We'll go ahead and take a peek at some model guidance. Now, here's a look at what we have going on across our region for the evening hours. Get out and enjoy because things will be beautiful here in the early evening hours. I cannot rule out a pop-up thunder shower or two across parts of central Minnesota. Do you see this? Maybe the Southern Valley, but most of us enjoying some pretty quiet conditions here in the evening hours. The wind will be southerly. That continues the heat and humidity working its way up into the region and then as we continue our trek through the overnight hours, I anticipate those storms pushing on the Montana, North Dakota border. The time here is 11 at night. So these are going to be some late nighters. Get to bed, go to sleep. Bismarck, those storms rock and roll through your area about two to three in the morning. And then they push into the James River Valley. And do you see this, this little backwards C shape, the things right here? Gusty wind will be the main overnight threat. There could be some with some one inch diameter hail or so, but it'll be marginally severe in our area. It blows. See that backward C shape? And I mean blows <laughs> right through the valley as we head into that 6 to 7 a.m. time frame here from Grand Forks, Hillsboro, Halstead, and Fargo-Moorhead. Wapiton, Breckenridge, maybe a piece later. And then it rips into parts of Lakes Country in western Minnesota to begin the day. Now, there is another chance for some storms on Tuesday. Those get developed in the central Dakotas right here as we head into the evening hours. But it's late evening hours after a sizzling hot day so that's what hutch is keeping his eyes on we have our risk of severe weather as we go through the overnight tonight and another one for tomorrow so here are the digits for you as we head into your overnight hours and this is a couple of things that i want to point out number one the cooler weather will be out to the far west some low 60s there we'll be near 70 in grand forks and fargo did you see the trio of thunderstorms moving through the valley here a chance for some stout Thunderstorms that will likely be gusty with the main threat as we start your morning. These blow out into Minnesota and quickly exit our area. This is the afternoon round developing late. After dinner, central North Dakota moving off to the east. There will be a risk for all modes of severe weather in our area. Gusty southeast winds rip, ripping temperatures up to near 90 in the southern valley. We'll be in the mid and upper 80s across the central valley. Lakes country, how about 83 out there? in Park Rapids, 83 Bismarck. And look at this. If you're heading out to the State Fair, why not at 83 degrees as well in the five o'clock hour? Seven day forecast looks like this. Temperatures hot for your Tuesday, a little less than toasty on your Wednesday as storm chances exit out into Minnesota. Then we see the heat build. You see these 90 degree readings out here for a hot weekend ahead, spotty thunder on Friday. And then again on Sunday and into Monday, maybe the next round of potentially strong thunderstorms as we close out your weekend there the way it looks to me. So we'll keep our eyes on that for you. And now let's take a look at this smoke forecast because it does look like it will return. So in this update, I want it to be thorough so you have a quick understanding of what we have to look forward to with regards to smoke. Now, as we go ahead and put this up on your screen for you, what you're going to notice as I set it into motion, I got to load up a model that goes out into the day on Wednesday. Our air should be cleaning up across most of North Dakota as we head into your Tuesday morning hours. Look at Northeast Montana, the increased smoke amounts drifting in. Do you see the bright red stuff way up here at the top of the screen? That's north of Estevan. That's the stuff we'll be watching as we head into our Wednesday. So as our thunderstorm chances on Tuesday move through, we should say stay smoke 
smoke free in many locations fun to say but then look at this marching southward as we head into wednesday morning some of the thickest smoke is that we've seen in the last several days punching right back into northwest minnesota and kind of parking there for the better part of our hump day and that's the way it looks to me so we'll keep my eyes on that but just remember if you have respiratory illness or know someone that does limit your outdoor exposure to that nonsense outdoors all right let's take a quick peek at that precipitation today as it made its way through the valley and beyond notice this along the north dakota south dakota border these deep blue colors you see here how about this emmons county all the way out where uh, the linton area saw about 44 one hundredths we did get upwards of two inches of rain not far from you folks in Gwinter. fargo moorhead picking up a few tenths of an inch of rain a tenth to two tenths of an inch as a matter of fact and nothing honey up there in marshall county minnesota it's been dry 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 we'll hope for some more rain for your area as we move through i'm meteorologist hutch johnson i appreciate you joining me for hutch's weather reminding you you can get the latest information anytime anywhere on hutchesweather.com thanks for all of the follows on facebook subscribe on youtube but more importantly get some rest tonight and if storms approach your area as we go through the overnight hours, say after 3 a.m., I'll keep my eyes on.